Hey Virgo, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be for the full moon on October 31st and taking us through the next new moon on November 14th. So look for these energies to play out for about the next two weeks. This will be a general reading, so please keep in mind that general readings can't resonate for each and every viewer. If it this message does resonate for you, I thank you in advance for all of your support with those likes, shares, and subscribes. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you so much. We will be taking a look at your current situation, your near future, get you some advice, and then we'll take a look at the most likely outcome of the situation based on the current set of circumstances. Then we'll close out your reading with some oracle cards. All right, let's dig in. What is Virgo going through right now that we need to talk about today? Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Potions in this deck. We're using Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. Two of Cups in reverse. This is either a breakup or you're just keenly aware of the absence of a loving partnership in your life. What is the blockage? What is the challenge that Virgo is facing? Page of Potions. The Page of Cups energy is openness, fresh heartedness, being like, yeah, open and sharing and unafraid to make mistakes, unafraid to be rejected, unafraid to appear foolish. Unafraid of all the things that would hold you back from pursuing love. It's like your blockage is just you don't want to put yourself out there. You are focusing on your suspicions. The seven of needles, seven of swords. You're either trying to find a loophole to getting what you want, to getting, to figuring out how to have, hmm. Well, you know what? I'm not clear actually on whether you want a relationship. Your focus on, your focus is squarely on the absence of relationship, whether that specifically means a relationship that's recently exited your life or the general absence of a relationship. Either way, what you are focused on right now is suspicion. reason I'm hesitating is the Seven of Swords sometimes speaks to the desire to get away with something. I mean, it, oneself, rather than look like suspecting others of, of um, like a negative intention. This could be just trying to find a loophole, trying to get away with something in that regard. We'll see what comes out in your clarifiers. Let's move on for now. We'll come back to that one. In your recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles, work. Sometimes this means putting work into a relationship. In your situation, I kind of feel more so that you were focusing on your job, focusing on work. Focusing on what works in your life rather than what's missing. The overall energy of the environment is the Knight of Potions in reverse. This is the Knight of Cups. 
This is not wanting to act on one's emotions. So I feel like this two of cups is popping up for you against your will. Like you don't really want to be thinking about this, but you are. In your near future, we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Needles. This is forward momentum, being armed with your own personal truth. Hmm. I'm not yet seeing the connection of how you get from your current situation to the, the forward movement. What is your advice? What's the advice for Virgo? Eight of Cups in reverse. There's something that you've missed in an aspect that you've left behind. Something you've walked away from needs your attention again. It's like you've moved on with things in pursuit of um, self-edification. You're trying to build yourself and that path led you away from a situation that needs your attention right now. What is your surprise energy? There's something that's going to come in and affect this situation and you do not see it coming. What is going to take Virgo by surprise? I know. <laughs> Virgo is like, I planned for everything. Nothing takes me by surprise. Well, Virgo, you might be surprised about that. So cheesy, I know. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You are going to be surprised to find out that this is a pattern for you. It's going to soon be revealed to you that this situation of being suspicious of others, wanting love but not wanting to put yourself out there, focusing on work, not sharing your emotions, and then moving on from a, an intellectual point of view has been a pattern for you And that realization in and of itself is going to propel you off of the uh, off of the the treadmill. It's like you've been in a holding pattern. The universe is waiting for you to realize this pattern so that you you can like get off the hamster wheel and move on to what what's what's real. I think that realization is going to come through this return, this revisiting of something that you've walked away from. In your hopes and fears, we have the nine of pentacles. You're wanting to maintain your independence, but that also scares you because it's familiar to you. You know what it's all about. You know how to do the nine of pentacles energy. You focus on work, you buckle down, you build up your security net, you do the responsible thing, and at the end of the day, you have success, but you're alone. So, I mean, it, it's a hard thing to get angry at, right? Because it's a, it's a fine goal to have 
to be ambitious and achieve your objectives. But it also carries with it that it's both a hope and a fear, right? So the fear is, is, this, is that all there is? Can I only achieve the nine of pentacles or can I get to the 10 of pentacles? The 10 is a happy home life. It's It takes it from the level of, of independent success and it builds in everything that for you represents a happy home life, which just based on this being here at the center of your reading, this two of cups in reverse, I feel like what you're missing is the relationship aspect. Let's see the outcome. What is... We have the... Four of Pentacles in reverse. Well, Virgo, I did not see this coming for you. This is you being willing to leave your comfort zone and free up some of your life for something new, something unfamiliar that you sense is going to be more. But since it's unfamiliar, you're not sure. You don't know this logically. But something's, something's going to propel you to to stop clinging to what you know so tightly that you're unable to take hold of new, more opportunities. New opportunities for growth, new opportunities for expansion. All right, I'll take it. I like that. Let's get you some clarifiers. So it's still a little bit of a disconnected reading for me, and I'd like to make it a little bit smoother, a little bit more cohesive for you. Yeah, two of cups in reverse, coupled with the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune in reverse being your surprise energy. So you already have a sense of your destiny. You have a sense that there's something more out there for you, and it's the two of cups. It's a, it's a committed love relationship. Clarifying the Page of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords. I have a feeling that this is the blockage being released. The, the way in which you're hesitant to put yourself out there and be willing to risk things, willing to risk your heart being broken, willing to risk being hurt. You're ready, like mentally, You either you are ready to, or you, that's what's called for. Because I mean, this is in what, what your challenge is position in achieving or addressing this situation, the main hurdle that you need to overcome in order to move forward on this in this subject. There's some sort of ending, some sort of paradigm shift that needs to occur surrounding you putting yourself out there. Clarifying the Seven of Swords seven of needles, we have the nine of cups in reverse. What's holding you back from your wishes coming true is this attitude of suspicion. And it has your full focus right now. You have you are squarely aware of this. It's like you know that your distrust, your your tendency to not trust others is part of what's holding you back from your greatest wish. Let's take a look at the Eight of Pentacles. Is this Virgo focusing on work? We 
We had two cards come out. I'm going to take them both. Usually I, I take only the top one, but this is way too um, like a mirror image of each other. We have the devil in reverse and the lovers. If you're not too familiar with tarot, let me show you why these two cards are so, so much a pair. On the one hand, you have a committed love relationship from a spirit of openness and trust. It's a healthy relationship. On this side, we have a very similar illustration, but these people have put themselves into bondage. It's a relationship based on obligation or need or insecurities. This is interdependence versus codependence. And in your recent past, now I feel like this isn't you throwing yourself into your work. This is you working out, putting effort into your understanding of the difference. Like studying human behavior or the psychology of relationships or the astrology of relationships. This is like you've been putting a lot of work and effort and intention toward aligning yourself with the positive type of relationship versus the self-limiting type of relationship. Let's look at the, the Knight of Cups in reverse and the energy of the environment. Why is the Knight of Potions here? The Hierophant. Expectations of, of what should occur, the way things are supposed to be. Convention. Societal expectations. This is like This is like don't put yourself out there just because it's what's expected of you. Don't try to follow some script of well this is the relationship the order in which a relationship happens. On date 5, I'm supposed to say I love you. This is like, on the flip side of that, this may be saying like you feel some sort of like cultural expectation for you to not express your emotions. Like don't be too needy, don't be too um, don't be too soft. Hmm. There's some sort of expectation being placed on you, whether you are doing it or whether society is doing it or whether your partner or potential partners are doing it. But the message here is your actions are being influenced by expectations. Specifically, more specifically, your lack of basing your actions on your emotions is somehow being informed by expectations. Oh. 
Mm. The Hierophant also represents marriage. So I feel like with the lovers and the devil and the two of cups, this is also very much a message that I want to bring to your awareness. It's possible that you are tight-lipped, closed-hearted, not wanting to act on your emotions because of some sort of expectation that it needs to lead to marriage. For some of you, you're not acting on your emotions because you are married. I'll see if I can do the rundown of interpretation of this spread based on that scenario. It's a bit darker, but if it resonates for you, I want to I want to say it. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, okay. I feel like for some of you, you feel like your destiny is elsewhere. You're in a committed relationship, potentially a marriage. You're not able to act on your emotions, but you are put, putting work toward having a happy relationship and not a codependent one. So if you're in a marriage that feels codependent, there's constant suspicions going back and forth between you and your partner. And you know this person is not your wish come true. And it's really killing you to keep your emotions in check. To not seek it out, to not have your needs being met, to not act on your feelings because of your commitment to this relationship. If that's your story, what I see here is you rushing in to a physical relationship that doesn't mean anything. If that's not your story, then this, this sudden burst of momentum to move forward based on a new concept could be based on the, the lack of passion in your life. Let's see what this Eight of Cups in Reverse is telling us. In your advice, the, the Eight of Cups in Reverse, we have judgment. Yeah, this is a return, a return for sure. Spirit is kind of not just nudging you, but, but pushing you to revisit a situation. They're, they could be bringing someone back into your life. like unfinished business, second chances, or it could be for the intention of learning something about the situation that you breezed over the first time around. There's a decision being made to return to something you had left behind. Let's take a look at this, thank you. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of screaming like the one that got away now. 
because the scent, the heart of the reading is the two of cups in reverse and the wheel of fortune. This person felt like destiny, but it didn't work out or you never got a shot at it. And then the wheel of fortune in reverse with the queen of cups, like this, this person seems like your ideal partner. Well, I mean, happy news. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so like, it, the energy kind of brought me down when I was, I was spelling out that one scenario. I mean, no judgments here, but you know, some energies just feel a little heavier than others. This surprise energy, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, Queen of Cups, this is saying this person is still part of your current cycle, that there's going to be another go around before you're off the wheel. So watch out for it. It's going to take you by surprise when it happens. I feel like that's this return. It could be this person is returning back around again and on the the cosmic cycle of life for you to take another look at the, that opportunity somehow. Clarifying your hopes and fears with this nine of presence, nine of pentacles, the end of being independent on your own we have the Four of Wands in reverse, which is a, a divorce. So you're wondering, am I going to feel great with this independence or is it going to be hollow? It's, it's a lot of unknowns here. In some regard, it feels like a step down to you and that's the the element that you're afraid of. It's almost like you see life as a, like, a numbered se a sequence of events that's meant to happen in a certain order. And, excuse me, <clears throat> you see marriage as something that is to be built upon and progressed from that point forward. So what happens after a divorce is like, you know, a step back in the in the way things should be this is hopes and fears however so that's just all in your head that's all in your heart that's not spelling out the reality of the situation necessarily let's clarify the four of pentacles in reverse why is the four of pentacles here in the eventual outcome We have the King of Cups. Oh, we have the King and Queen of Cups, you guys. You free yourself up to accept more and the universe brings in. Like they come back around again. Well, if you have your, your life, your arms full of all your four pentacles and that's all you can hold, this person's going to come back around again and you won't have the capacity to receive them. But look, you're going to have dropped one or more of the things you're clinging to right now to make space for allowing this person into your life. It's not going to be codependent. You've already done that work. It's going to be healthy. Okay, let's close out your reading with some oracle cards. We will start with the Affirmators deck and get you an affirmation. What affirmation do we have for my Virgo for this interesting situation that they face? We have options. As I open to the abundant possibilities of my life's path, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like, you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato. I mean, whoever said that? Yeah, that feels like the, the cosmic buffet table. Like it's this rotating options 
that are going to circle around and around and around until you complete that cycle of your life. Or that grander cycle of your existence. You know, this could be this could be lifetimes. I didn't even get a chance to introduce your deck and we already had one fly out, but this is the uh, Power of Surrender Oracle card deck and we have Surrender Worry. So this is something that you can release out of your life. Make a commitment to lead, nope. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Surrender worry. This is worry. Your focus, this seven of swords energy, this suspicion. This is, um, well, okay, not to be a negative Nelly, but I'm seeing now in the, in the story as it's progressed, this may be you trying to go outside of the relationship and not wanting to get caught. Either way, we have surrender worry. If you're worried about others or you're worried about, you know, you're worried about others doing you wrong or you're worried about others finding out you're doing them wrong, that's not doing you any good either way. Make sure that you are acting from integrity, from what's right for you, and it's going to be the right thing for you. Oh, that sounds redundant, doesn't it? Let's get you a, a fear nothing card. Music has what you need. All right, make yourself a playlist when you're when you're feeling like your thoughts are running out of control or your emotions are getting away from you. You can exert control over your environment through the power of music. And last but not least, let's pull you a making magic card to close out your reading. We have Abracadabra with Wings, Fantastic Good Fortune and Lucky Chances. This is my favorite card in this deck, you guys. I'm a little jealous. This is like a magical spell of wish fulfillment. So have at it, you guys. Aim for the, aim for the moon. Dream big. All right, if this resonated with you, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Again, I thank you so much for all your support. Couldn't do it without you. I will see you guys again coming up toward the new moon on November 14th. A day or two before then is when I'm going to post all of these next round of videos. So until then, take care and have a happy Halloween. Bye.